my name's Alex, and I obviously work here on reception along with Simon and Robin. <laughs> um, I'm sorry about the weather. We didn't order it today. Uh, the Lord was not listening, but never mind. Um, the castle you're visiting today is actually the newest castle in England. Um, it looks a lot older, but it was first built, or started to be built in 1911 and was completed around 1931. The chap who had it commissioned um, was Julius Drew, and he made his fortune through the home and colonial tea stores. Um, so he sold cheaper tea from India and undercut the opposition from China. <laughs> and then at the right old age of 33, he uh, retired and had um, Edwin Lutchens, who was a quite a renowned architect of the time, design this castle for him. Um, in 1917, the son of Julius Drew, Adrian, um, he fell in the First World War in, Ypres, in, in Belgium, and after that, Mr Drew's interest in the castle and the whole project waned quite severely, and that's part of the reason why the castle is only actually about one third the size that was originally um, envisaged. That, and of course, because many of the people were sent to fight in the trenches in the First World War as well. That's a very brief history of it. When you get into the castle today, it will look very different to how it normally looks inside. Um, the reason for this is the roof, if you have a glance at that picture, the roof of the castle is actually as flat as a pancake, um, which means it's been ex um, sort of exposed to severe water penetration for about 100 years. And it's got to a point now where if we do not act to make the roof watertight, it might sort of good, good night Vienna to the castle as a tourist attraction eventually. Um, so we're on a five year project to basically plug the, plug the gaps in the ceiling and cover it with an asphalt, uh, sorry, so uh, with a balder membrane, which will be more durable and will keep out the weather. So when you get inside, not all the, um, not all the objects and furnishings are in their conventional place, some have had to be relocated. Um, so it's a very different perspective to what um, you normally get. But hopefully as you go around, you get a feel for the family story, the castle story, uh, the castle history, etc. Um, so it's an equally um, entertaining, if very different uh, experience for you. Just a bit of logistical stuff. Um, obviously, Cafe, if you 